We are uh, at the EPFL, Swiss Federal Institute of Technology in Lausanne, and uh, precisely at the EPFL pavilions, Amplifier for Art, Science and Society. And uh, here in Pavilion A, uh, we have the pleasure now to present uh, the uh, work N03X67 by artist Sarah Oppenheimer. Uh, this is a new uh, production, a new work uh, that was produced in the framework of the APFL Artist in Residence program Enter the Upper Scientific. So this program is organized and promoted by the College of Humanities at the APFL and invites uh, international artists as well as Swiss artists to develop projects in collaborations with uh, the APFL scientific community. And uh, so we had the great pleasure this year to welcome uh, for 2023 and now in 2024 to present the project Sarah Oppenheimer. Sarah uh, developed, uh, let's say, a body of work, let's say an idea for a new body of work in collaboration with uh, the Laboratory of Intelligent System at the EPFL and uh, the Laboratory for Performance in Design. So Professor Dario Floriano and Professor Marilyn Anderson. Sarah spent a few months uh, at the EPFL uh, really uh, basically embedded in the Laboratory uh, of Intelligent Systems uh, basically uh, for a permanent exchange, knowledge exchange, uh, with the um, scientific community of the laboratory. Uh, and these basically discussions uh, led uh, to the uh, conception of, uh, let's say, this project, which we could consider as a sort of also prototype uh, opening up uh, to a new phase, a new body of work, um, of which we have now a first example that will be basically developed in the months to come. Uh, in September also Sarah will be uh, at the Atelier Carder, where basically this project will expand. So what we see here is uh, basically a networked uh, system, um, starting with a subtle architectural intervention. So Sarah Oppenheimer's work deals with existing architecture, but also with the relationship, let's say, of the visitors, viewers, body, and the, let's say, context, uh, meaning the architectural context, but also the perception of our own body and how we relate to each other through actually the activation of these instruments. And what we see basically is a networked uh, system uh, which develops in these seven instruments that are uh, presented on the facade. And let's say this a pneumatic, um, this network is connected pneumatically meaning that the action on one of the elements brings basically a reaction to the networked element. Therefore, we understand immediately that the aim of this project is also somehow to question our sort of relationship with the context and therefore also activating, also taking the time basically to explore this installation and interact with it, this work, this architectural work. And uh, we have also, we present also a sort of uh, network logic simulation, meaning basically this, uh, the logic of this network that Sarah developed in collaboration with Simon Jaeger, who's a PhD at the Laboratory for Intelligent System, where there, there is a, a basically a presentation of many iteration of this uh, potential system that will be the base for the um, additional, let's say, evolutions of this project. In the framework of Enter the Upper Scientific, we welcome uh, very different artists, in the sense artists conducting different practices with different media. And uh, what was extremely specific and wonderful actually of Sarah's research is also what we see here, is that, uh, let's say, in the context of science and technology, uh, Sarah developed what we could consider a sort of analogic system. And uh, of course, uh, nurtured by, let's say, the very advanced uh, knowledge and science developed at the EPFL. And um, it's a pleasure, it's, it's great for us to present uh, this uh, architectural intervention, precisely because the aim of Enter the Hyper Scientific is to foster collaborations between artists and scientists, spanning and expanding 
broad the, the notion of art and science collaborations, meaning that it's not uh, strongly related to the medium, uh, but it's actually related also to the content and to the, uh, let's say, concepts behind uh, the projects. So we have, let's say, a, a digital simulation and the digital uh, network logic um, developed for this work. Uh, leading to an analogic architectural intervention and for other artists, for instance, we have uh, actually works uh, which develop more in the field, for instance, of um, artificial intelligence and digital practices or film practices. So we aim at fostering really this variety of uh, media um, and uh, dialogues uh, among artists and scientists and therefore also productions uh, that will basically develop uh, from these exchanges. So in this pneumatic system, an architectural array tips and turns in response to human action. Linked by air, N03X67 is a pneumatic network composed of actuators, cylinders, valves and dampers. Its kinetic permutations generate an exchange among the different instruments that are placed along the facets of pavilions A at the EPFL. The logic of this is uh, both horizontal, that you can actually see the element in connection to the other elements on the windows, as well as, of course, frontal. When Sarah Oppenheimer decided to place this element in the middle, we could say, of the exhibition space and also at the entrance of the exhibition space. It's, a, let's say, the beginning also of how visitors have to question the space, finding these new elements or instrument that requires their interaction. And also the idea of transparency, of uh, exchange, let's say, between indoor and outdoor was an important part of Sarah's concept and how she actually interacts with existing buildings and architectures to then change them through her architectural manipulation.